up guys, it's Matt Collins Jones here, also known as the D365 Geek, and today we are talking about Power Automate, we are talking about expressions, and we are talking about the last index of function under the string uh, functions. So what is last index of? If you've watched one of my previous videos on index of uh, function inside uh, Power Automate, this won't come as much of a shock to you, but this function allows you to search through an entire string, find the last instance of a particular string that you're searching for, and give you the number of characters uh, where that string begins. So index of was where you find the first instance, last index of is where there could be multiple instances of this, and we just find the last one and return the number of characters to get there. So let's take a look at this. So we've got my um, my flow here in Power Automate, and this is a manual trigger flow with a text input that I'll be putting in, and we have a compose action. So in the compose action, under inputs, I'm going to click into input, I'm going to go across to expressions, I'm going to expand see more in string functions, and then I go down to last index of. So again, we can kind of see the parameters that we've got here. So the parameter that we need to put in is text and then search text. So search text is the text that we want to search through the string for to get the, uh, to get the character of. Um, this is again like index of, this is case insensitive, meaning that we can find it whatever it kind of, um, whether it's uppercase or lowercase or a mix of the two. So we will click last index of, that will go into our function window up here. We then want to put some text into it. So we're going to switch back to dynamic content. We're going to get the input number, or the first input here. We're going to put a comma in, um, and then we're going to put some single quotation marks. And then the single quotation marks are what we are going to search through to find um, the text. So I'm going to put hello in here. So we're going to search through the text. We're going to find however many hellos there are, and then we're going to return the character uh, where the, we're going to turn the number of characters until that last hello begins. So once we're happy with our expression, we can click OK, and we can see it goes into the inputs there. So let's test this. So I'm going to perform the trigger myself. Click Save and Test. So in here, I'm going to put hello. My name is Matt. Nice to meet you, Fred. Hello, my name is Fred. Nice to meet you, Matt. Hello. I'm going to click Run Flow. So what this will do is it, it will understand that there is a first input here that says hello. It will then understand that there is a second input here that says hello, but it's going to return the number of characters before this last hello. So it shouldn't be at character 1. It shouldn't be probably a character like 30, something around there. Uh, it'll be sort of around this last hello. So let's run the flow. Click done. Compose. And we see 94. So we've put in all these characters and it's figured out that this last hello is where we want to start from. So again, this is really handy if you want to pull out things like GUIDs or need to search through any strings and just find the last instance of something happening. You can then use this function to um, start that as being the start character where you want to count from, and then you can strip out whatever it is you need and use that later on in your flow. So I think this is a really, really handy function. But what do you guys think? Let me know in the comments down below. If you want to let me know on Twitter, I'm at D365Geek. Uh, I've got my LinkedIn and my email at the end of the video as well. So please, uh, please get in touch um, via that. Uh, as always, if you could like, share and subscribe to my YouTube channel, it's much appreciated. And I'll see you next time.